our group is largely interested in the temperature dependence of kidney stone presentation, which is trying to examine what that association is between the occurrence of a temperature on any given day and then when you're presenting with stones and what that risk is as temperatures vary. And what we examined in this work is what different characteristics can modify that effect. So is the risk of presentation with stones different for men and women? Is it different for patients of different age groups? And is it different for people living in different types of climates? So what we found generally was that for any given temperature above 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the risk of presenting with a stone is much greater for males than females. And what this suggests, because we looked at other things such as publicly and privately insured individuals where there was no difference, what these sex differences suggest is that the differences that we're seeing in the risk of stone presentation is due to a sexually dimorphic um, effect on evaporative water loss. So when you're exposed to a, a high temperature at high humidity, you lose a lot of body water, and that presumably increases the concentration of minerals in the urine, calcium, oxalate, phosphate, et cetera, and it decreases the urine volume, therefore increasing your risk of stones. What we also found was that there were some temperature differences with respect to what climate you live in. So those that live in hotter climates uh, tended to have a lower risk of stones than those that lived in cooler climates, suggesting there may be some adaptation. So how we plan to present, uh, or how we plan to move forward uh, with this work is that it could give us a basis, uh, a foundation for trying to develop strategies to mitigate the effect of stone recurrence, uh, at least the um, effect of temperature on stone recurrence. So if we know that males have a greater uh, risk for any given temperature, they may have to drink more water to mitigate that risk. Um, and it also suggests that some of the previous estimates of how uh, the prevalence of nephrolithiasis may change with climate change may be imprecise or inaccurate. So we may have to rethink uh, some of those projections that have been done in the past.